If you were looking for the best battery to run your bus, RV, or van conversion this year or the next, you have a ton of options. Too many, in fact. But after dozens of hours of research and three years living off-grid in our 40-foot school bus conversion, I've narrowed it down to just one that I think is perfect for almost everybody. A little wet out here. Oh boy. And here it is, the Signature Solar EG4 24 wow. volt, 200 amp hour server rack battery. This is the battery that I think will work best for most applications with a couple caveats. At the end of the video, I've got two other options to consider for you in case you want to build a 12 volt battery bank or if you don't want to touch any tools or be responsible for wiring or fusing your whole system correctly. I've got something for you too. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Justin. If you're new here, we make videos about building, living in and touring homes on the road. And I've got several awesome tours coming up for you soon. But today we're gonna to talk about building. And one of the most important elements of that is your off-grid battery bank. It's expensive. It's something you're gonna purchase once and you wanna get it right. Now real quick, I wanna talk about the state of the lithium battery market today. Five years ago when I was building this bus, there were almost no options in the market and they were extremely expensive. Because of that, I focused only on American backed companies with big 10 year warranties. This narrowed me down to two products, the Battleborn 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery and the Lion Energy 150 amp hour, no, 105 amp hour, but they both cost about 900 to thousand dollars each. And it turns out these batteries have proven to be very reliable. So having a 10 year warranty or an American backed company to me at this point is much less important, which opens us up to a ton of extremely affordable options. If you were to buy this signature solar battery today, it'll cost you $1,259 and it's equivalent to four Battleborn batteries, which still cost about $900 each. That's $3,700 versus $1,259 and you would still have to watch wire it and fuse it, which is gonna cost extra money. But it's really kind of a no-brainer. Those dinosaur companies, forget about them. Forget about it. Forget about it. Now let's talk about form factor because in a bus, RV, or van, there's only a few locations where we can put a battery bank like this. Maybe in a couch, maybe in a cabinet, maybe underneath the bed, but we need the size to be appropriate. Now this battery is 17 and a half wide, 18 and a half long, and six inches tall. And you can lay them on their back or you can stack them on top of each other. So I think they're quite adaptable and a great size, even though they're quite big to most of the spaces that we would put them in. At 24 volts with 200 amp hours of capacity, we've got a bit over five kilowatt hours of storage in just this one battery, which is quite a lot. Now, if you're wondering how much battery you need, I recommend if you are a one person or possibly two living in a smaller rig, like a van or a short bus, you might be able to get by with one. If you have a larger rig and up to four people living in your bus, I think you definitely need two. And if you wanna be sure that you have plenty of storage because you You've got an all electric rig, maybe a whole family living in there. Maybe you wanna run two mini split air conditioners and you wanna get through like, for example, the winter in the Pacific Northwest where there's not a ton of sun, then I definitely think you should get three batteries or maybe even four batteries. And one of the great things about this server rack battery, besides its form factor, the fact that there's basically four batteries in this is it has its own breaker, which means that you don't have to fuse it because the wires coming to it and from it are protected by that breaker. And the breaker also serves as a shutoff switch. So you can shut off each individual battery to service them. If that's something you end up needing to do, you probably won't though. Now this 24 volt battery has a hundred amp discharge rating. And that means you can run 2,400 watts continuous out of just one of these batteries. So a 3000 VA multi plus by Victron, which is a really popular inverter will work with one, but you want to bump up to two batteries at least if you're going to be doing any more than 2400 watts like running a water heater and a mini split at the same time because that'll bring you up to a 200 amp discharge rating with two batteries in parallel and that will allow you to pull 4800 watts from your battery bank. Additionally this battery's got all the safety features we need like a BMS that will shut it off before it gets completely depleted as well as a overcharge current limiter and a low temperature protection shutoff. This battery if frozen if you charge it with your solar power let's just say you're at like a ski resort and you're gone all day and your bus is out in the sun and your battery is frozen, it's going to damage it if you charge it. And the battery doesn't know not to do that if it doesn't have a low temperature protection shutoff. So this one has that as well. And it's something that you probably need. By the way, if you'd like help planning your electrical system, check out our Patreon, schoolysupport.com, where myself and Chuck Cassidy, who's been building school bus conversions for over 10 years, provide unlimited monthly consulting for a fee. You can also sign up for free. I'm gonna be updating members on great price batteries in the future. So check out our Patreon, schoolysupport.com. You can expect this battery to last at least 5,000 life cycles if you charge it down to just 5%, which is what I recommend that you do because I want you to get the most out of this battery. And 5,000 life cycles is gonna take a really long time, probably close to 10 years. Even after those 10 years, it's still gonna work. The storage is just gonna slowly degrade, kind of like your phone, but just way slower. It comes with a five-year warranty from Signature Solar. And the only downside is that they have a $150 flat rate shipping fee. So basically you gotta add on 150 bucks for one battery, 75 for two, 50 for three, so on and so forth. But they don't have free shipping like a lot of the other manufacturers. 
And if you want to get something smaller than this, there's a more affordable option coming up soon. Now for years, all we really had was those plastic cased Group 24, Group 31 batteries. And you had to basically rip them apart to service them. But with this server rack battery, we've got this great metal case and you can just take off the lid to check it out. Make sure everything's okay. So before you send it off for a warranty, you can just figure out, oh, for some reason I have a loose connection. Boom. This thing is really quite a monster. So this right here, if I had two of them, which is what I would buy to replace my battery bank with, it would be about a third more capacity than what I have down here. And as you can see, I had to wire all these together myself and fuse them. And all this wiring and fusing probably cost back then at least $100, maybe more like 150. And these days would cost like 250 bucks. We've come a long way since back when I built this bus and built that battery bank. And these days, this is really all that the bus community is installing as long as they're building a big system. I've installed a couple of these before. I went out to Texas to help one of the school support members finish their build. This battery is just a total beast. Now, if for some reason you wanna build a 12 volt system, like for example, you wanna replace your RV's lead acid battery bank with lithium, or you'd like to build a small camper or an overland rig or something where you don't need a robust battery bank, then Signature Solar is too much battery at too much of a price with too much shipping. If that's the case, I recommend you check out Lytime. This is a battery manufacturer and retailer that has proven to be very reliable, still has a five-year warranty and makes great batteries. They have a 12 volt, 100 amp hour battery for just $310 with free shipping, as well as a 12 volt, 230 amp battery for just $620, still free shipping. Both of these batteries have low temperature shutoff protection, but most of the batteries do not. So be sure that you get these two and not the other ones if you need that. Links are of course below. And from Lie Time, I can offer you a 3% discount for buying through that link. So check it out. And if you don't even want to wire an off-grid battery bank at all because you're intimidated by the tools, the wire sizes, the fuses, you don't want to put yourself in jeopardy in the future by getting something wrong because improperly sized wires and poorly made connections can cause fires, then we actually have something on the market now called a solar generator, which I'm sure you've seen, which could actually replace your whole off-grid system these days. It's good to learn things. I'm so happy that I made my own off-grid system. I've installed several of them now, but there's a lot of things to learn and it doesn't mean that you have to know how to do that. Most people don't and it's not going to be useful for you forever unless you're building things a lot like I seem to be. And right here I've got a great example of a high value solar generator and this one is called the Mega 2 and it's made by a company called Oops. They also make the 3 and the 5 and there's a couple key reasons why this is one of the best options in the market right now for your bus conversion RV or van. Now this one the Mega 2 is a great solution for a smaller rig. It's 18 inches long, 11 inches deep, and 12 inches tall and it weighs 48.5 pounds. So this Mega 2 has a 2 kilowatt hour battery bank which means that it's a little bit less than half the size of one signature solar EG4 like I showed you before, but it has a 2500 watt inverter built into it. It also has a charge controller which can accommodate up to a class leading 2100 watts of solar input. It's a lot of input for such a small power bank and the 3 and 5 do that as well. There's two key reasons why this works perfectly for mobile dwelling and one of them is it has a 30 amp RV hookup. This means that you could take this and plug it in to your already built rig and it will be an additional 2 kilowatt hours. It'll also allow you to run AC appliances that you might not be able to with your camper, your travel trailer. These things are not often built with lithium battery banks or big inverters and they have rooftop air conditioners and you can't run them unless you're plugged into a campground. All you gotta do is plug into the Mega 2, 3, and 5 and now all of a sudden it's like you're hooked up to a campground again. The other thing you can do with this is you can take it and you can put it inside your rig and you can wire your AC distribution straight to it. Because it has that 30 amp RV plug, we can run a ton of things with it at the same time. The other key feature is this 30 amp Anderson DC connector. You can buy a cable and I've linked one below that you can plug directly into this Anderson port and attach it straight to your DC fuse blocks with ring terminal connectors. And there's a fuse in line, so it's all safe. This means that you can plug in all of your DC fixtures in your rig and you can pull up to 30 amps at the same time. With 30 amps, you can do pretty much everything you could expect to do in an RV through that DC power port. So if you need more power than two kilowatt hours, for about a thousand dollars you can double the capacity with their B2 battery, which plugs straight into this. And the cool thing about the B2 battery is it has a bunch of DC outputs as well. So if you want to, you can leave your off-grid solution in your rig, take your battery out with you, charge your phones, run fans, run lights. If you're going to be using the battery elsewhere, it basically has more utility than other batteries on the market. But if you want to buy more than one expansion battery because you need more capacity, I would definitely go to the Mega 3 or the Mega 5. 
five. That's because it becomes more cost effective to buy a larger unit. Now, if you go to the Mega 5, which I definitely recommend for a bus this size, you can get an expansion battery pack that will double the size of your Mega 5 up to 10 kilowatt hours as well. So you don't have to buy a bunch of these little batteries. You buy the Mega 5, you buy the expansion battery. You've got a really robust off-grid system with 10 kilowatt hours of battery storage. All right, let's get our little adapter. Should be right here. And now we've got the bus running off the Mega 2. And you know what, let's get some solar panels real quick. So this is also from the same company. So this is a Mega 240 watt solar panel. Pretty sick. We've got the Mega 2 plugged into the bus. We are pulling in only 40 watts of solar. We've got the panels up here. We do have this excellent app that we can use to monitor everything. And we can also monitor this remotely too. You, you connect this device to the Wi-Fi and you can pick this up wherever you are. Now we're gonna use the bus to totally stress out this power bank. Let's go turn some things on. We've got no inverter on right now. So let's go use the power bank to power the bus. We're pulling 1600 watts of AC power from the water heater being on. Now I can turn on the induction cooktop, which we'll use another 1800 watts. We'll see if we can do that. We'll start with the level four on the cooktop and see how many watts that is. Okay, and just like that, we're pulling another thousand watts. 2400, 2449. This can do 2500. So basically we can do induction cooking and electric water heating at the same time with this unit. There's a final test for this power bank. There's something we need this to be able to do. We need it to be able to charge from solar, charge from shore power, and run AC and DC circuits at the same time. It's a lot to ask from a tiny little box like this. In my bus, I've got four big things that do that. Right now, we're pulling in 1,500 watts of AC charging, a little bit from the solar panels, and let's see what happens when we run a heat gun, which uses about 1,300 to 1,500 watts. As you can see, we're still charging from AC power. What that means is that we can run everything at once. We can charge this while we discharge it from a shore power connection from solar power. And that's what we need in this box. I can't believe how small and capable this little solar generator is. Please use the links to check out the products mentioned in this video below. We've got 5% off for the Oops. We've got $50 off your order for Signature Solar. And we've got 3% off for Lie Time. And if you guys wanna see a big rig in action, I've got a really awesome tour for you. There is a sweet bus with a roof cap extension that I toured a couple months ago. Love that bus, totally gorgeous. You're gonna love it. Check it out right here. Right here, right there. See you guys soon. Peace.